Can I get a win? Sinning again. Oh my god, you just lied again. How could I win? Yeah, you wanna without me. Now I'm so lonely. Yeah, yeah, losing again. How the fuck can I get a win? Sinning again. Oh my god, you just lied again. How could you win? Yeah, you wanna without me. Now I'm so lonely. Smash that like button! Damn. You too, what do they do? It's your boy Low Key! Go on, Nick, you dig what I'm saying? I'm coming back to y'all another video, and as y'all can see by the title, I'm going to be doing another different ways to start your dreads. Now today I'm gonna to tell you how you can start your dreads using the box braid method, also known as braid locks. But before we get into the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Don't be dumb as hell. Click the bell, turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single video. Now it's a very simple method, you know? All you gotta do is just Get your hair in the box braid, like so. I'm not gonna braid my hair, you know what I'm saying? But basically, in the process, all you have to do is just get your hair in the box braid, and over time, your box braid will form into a lock. A lot of protective hairstyles will form into locks over time. Basically, just, you know, as y'all can see, I'm living proof, you know? Two strand twist. Two strand twist locker right here. Even with the two strand twist dreads, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, braid locks is a method in which you undergo the process. But yeah, with the braid lock method, all you really have to do is leave your hair in braid locks and over time your hair will form into a dread. Now it's one of the longer, probably the longest process in locking up your hair compared to any other method that I have listed or any other dread YouTubers, people with dreads have done. If you have patience, Cause you gonna need it because for braid loss it is gonna take time typically braid loss takes five to ten months to initially start locking up now i know it sounds like there's cons in it but there are some pros as well with braid loss if you leave your hair in for the five to ten months your hair will lock up but it will have the braid pattern for a very very long time but the good thing about it is you will have neatly sectioned parts throughout your whole journey. Cause you have neatly sectioned parts throughout your whole journey and there will be no unraveling throughout the process. Cause if you go through the two strand twist, finger coil, potentially even free forms too, but not really free forms cause you know you're always sufficient with a sponge. But using those methods, your hair is likely to unravel. With the box braid method, your hair won't unravel at all. You'll get the feel of having dreads throughout the whole journey because box braids typically feel very hard. So if you want your dreads to be in a specific type of format, you can get box braids, just neatly section them, get them exactly how you want it. And throughout the whole journey, your hair will stay in that same exact form. But mind you, you're going to have, you know, the box braid pattern. You're gonna have the box braid pattern throughout the whole entire process. Box braid locks. I don't really know a lot of people who have box braid locks. It's one of the more rarities when it comes to having dreads because people typically go the free form route, semi free form, two strand twist, finger coil, sponge, towel rub, wicks. Box braids are a unique set of locks, but you know, if you really like the box braid aesthetic but also kind of want to get dreads at the same time, it's one of the smarter methods to go by. Another thing to note is when you do box braid locks, your hair will typically stay the same size. Like there's not gonna be much expanding throughout your hair. So if you wanted your locks to be a specific size throughout the whole journey, box braid locks might be the one for you. 
if you have troubles with unraveling you don't like that then box braids might be the look for you because throughout the process going through finger coils or any other process your hair will go through a trial of expanding shrinking clumping up it's you know your hair locking up but with box braids your hair is going to mat up like you know the frizz is going to eventually wrap around the hair and form into a lock but it's going to be a very long process just to let you know so if you guys are interested in the box spray locks you can go ahead and do it typically that's not my cup of tea i wouldn't do box spray locks i almost considered it when i first started growing my hair out because i was sectioning my hair like damn near perfectly but i don't think box spray locks would be for me i actually like the two strand twist locks and i like how my hair is getting a little bit thicker it's starting to look more so like some dreads and yeah i just feel like this is like a look for me like it's working and i just can't wait till they get longer but that is the video today and that is how you can start your dreads with the box braid method also known as braid locks if you guys want more videos like that please let me know down in the comments below and we're gonna sign off right here it is your boy low no one look how you dig what i'm saying yeah. please make sure to like comment subscribe and we out you dig Me if you were someone I should have messed with To be honest, I don't even know I just go with the flow Keeping up my homes Don't regret what I did